Uh, I've been reflecting a lot this week on the importance of having a plan B in every situation. So for example, I was hoping to play Elden Ring on Friday and I actually was going to be given a free code for the game, but it just didn't arrive. So and I can't afford to buy it. So we'll see if it arrives on Monday. But my plan B for it was to just carry on playing Horizon Forbidden West because I'm still working on that game as well. And I have so many other games I'm, I want to play. So for example, the plan right now is to 100% Horizon Forbidden West, and then finish off the Platinum Trophy for Resident Evil 2 Remake, and then finish off the Final Fantasy XIV and Walker Story finally, and then finally jump into Cyberpunk. So Elden Ring would have jumped right to the top of the queue, but we'll see if we get it. But the main thing I've been reflecting on is how I react in these sort of situations. So for example, I planned specifically that, yes, I'm gonna play Elden Ring, the day comes out and so on clear my schedule finally play and so on and then it didn't happen and that feeling of disappointment whatever it can lead to all types of stress anxiety depression the depression is the thoughts of for example oh other people got it early and i'm not going to get it until four days late and stuff like that you know so i try my best really to not allow these thoughts to overwhelm me and make me angry or whatever. So it happens, that's life. And it was definitely first world problems. You know, like I know full well what's going on in the world right now, and I'm not going to allow such a trivial thing to upset me. And I've been having a lot of fun this week playing Horizon Forbidden West. Like Horizon Forbidden West is amazing for, for someone like me. I love crafting and gathering in video games, which I've said before, and Basically, Horizon Forbidden West is a gatherer's dream, like a couple of other games. So I've been having fun exploring it, and I'm playing it very hard, so it's an extra challenge for me as well. And then over the next week, I'm hoping to carry on playing Horizon, and then also I'm working on a, the back end of Mifri.com to make it more stronger, better for what I do as a content creator. I am a former developer i have skills in development as both web development and database development so i am working on a custom backend for mifri.com i don't want to spend the time working on wordpress and working out all this stuff because one i don't have time and two i actually find that piece of software very limiting <laughs> believe it or not like i know a lot of people use it but it's a case of for me and my experience as the developer you know i don't have that really good of impression of these um programs like wordpress so uh, but we'll see over time if i'm able to make mifri.com into a success and it's nice to be able to just carry on with what i'm doing so i'm still loving and enjoying making the gaming news every day that i've been making them looking at my instagram um, nearly every day for a year you know like time has passed so quickly and also as well um i've happy that I'm able to keep my development skills fresh and current by having my own project which I'm putting the skills into because I did work 10 years as a developer and um, it would be a shame for those skills to dis disappear basically so I do keep them fresh and generally I am happy you know I've got a good routine going every time I put my hand over here I'm pointing towards my bed <laughs> so and the reason why is because Every morning I tidy my bed, you know, that's the first thing, that's the first victory of the day. And then I carry on with what I do every week. And you might have noticed that these days I'm smiling more, I'm more relaxed, I'm more happier because I feel a level of satisfaction with what I'm doing every single week. And it's really great seeing all the channels grow as well. So at the moment, most of the channels are not even partnered. So a lot of them don't even make any sort of money on YouTube. But with the way they're trending upwards, eventually they actually all will, so, which will be great. Like if I can, you know, make my gaming news every day and it makes money and then I post a VOD backup on my Let's Play channel and it makes money. And then I post these weekly updates on their vlog channel and it makes money. You know, it would all be great for my future. Simple as that. So, and that's what I'm working really heavily towards. So thank you guys very much for your support and I will see you soon.